here, you can like see the face and the little nose. I'm gonna lay down and you're just gonna like hold it still above my belly. <laughs> So it's definitely going side to side. Gravitational pull with your uterus. Is there some sort of science? Yeah. All you need to do is pee in a cup and add two tablespoons of baking soda. Nothing's happening. No movement. Nothing. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. It's 11 o'clock. I was like, wait, is it even morning anymore? I actually got ready today. <laughs> Put on uh, a little bit of makeup. I've had my hair crimped for days. I did a little half up, half down because I'm wearing blue leggings. So I thought the hair clip would be cool to match the pants. And this is one of those, I think like free people-esque finds from Amazon that I've worn before. I think it's super duper cute. I like how like you still get some coverage, but then you have the little slits here, which give like a little bit of shape. And then it's got like, it almost looks like a seam on the outside here little slits on the arm. They've got a bunch of colors. I think I'm wearing the XXL, so I will link this. I think it is just like so cute for spring because it's like kind of chilly, but not full on coat weather. But I've got a fun little new scan to show you guys. We went in to do the spina bifida scan um, and the baby's spine looks good. My placenta is growing on the back side. So she said, I, I didn't know about this, so I'm, I'm learning a lot about my first pregnancy and stuff throughout this, so I'm definitely gonna share it in the vlogs, so any other expecting mamas or whatever, if you're curious, I don't know, because there's a lot that I'm <laughs> learning as I go here, because um, I didn't even, I don't know, I didn't even think about the placenta forming or if it's in a certain location, but she said it's like on my backside. It can go anywhere, but it's kind of good that it's on the back because then like Yarmin and whoever will be able to feel the baby kick more in the front since it's not gonna be like blocking the baby. I don't know. That's what the doctor said. But the spine looked good. Baby was like growing appropriately. Uh, the baby's two inches now. And like we really got to see the side profile and it's just looking <laughs> more and more like a real baby every time. So here you can like see the face and the little nose so well and we confirmed the due date is going to be september 29th so yeah end of september close to yar's birthday which is the 25th but it was so cool this was my first sonogram that wasn't intravaginal so it was the first one where um i had like you know the gel put on my stomach which i couldn't feel because it's numb from the tummy tuck and then up on the screen it was really really cool to see like it just to see it like from the outside it was like oh my gosh like there it is um we got to listen to the heartbeat and that was just very magical it's just oh it's just it's getting more and more real our next scan isn't for a couple months it's um a more like detailed one at like 20-ish weeks where they get to look at the organs and stuff we won't see the baby again for a while unless we want to like go to a third party and you know you can go to like a 3d 4d ultrasound place and just pay to go there since your insurance only covers a certain amount usually who knows i think i want to do that more towards the end where they can do the ones where you can like really see the facial features and stuff i think that would be really cool also if you have any like pregnancy tips or things that you wish you had done from your previous ones that you didn't do uh please let me know if there's anything you recommend doing for like memories or whatever so and one more baby thing um my in-laws sent us this in the mail how cute and then there were four oh, with a little paw we got it last night and i was just like <laughs> so freaking cute and so small like newborns are so little oh great for both of us okay it's my little vlog intro update here there's gonna be a lot of these little vlog uh, updates as we go but i have seen a lot of comments that were like we're here for the pregnancy content we've been waiting for the pregnancy content don't feel uh like you can't post as much as you want so thank you because this is obviously a huge part of my life right now so um i appreciate you guys being excited and not minding that that's like all i'm talking about okay but i got in a couple things from amazon um so i thought i would open them with you guys uh first i found these shorts because I'm going to Florida soon and I'm really excited about these because these are like another full free people vibe. First of all, I'm taking them out. These are so soft. These are so soft and I love that they have this really thick 
band at the top because that's what makes them kind of cool and then they're flowy with like another layer underneath they had a bunch of colors i just got black just to kind of start i might get the hot pink as well i'm glad i sized up i got the 3x but they have a ton of stretch i'll just i'll try them on really quick just because like if you want to grab them you need to know how they fit i'm just so excited to be in the florida sun in shorts Ooh, yes you know when like you put something on it it just feels good all right i'm gonna have to order these in every color I'm obsessed. These shorts are perfect and they're gonna be so perfect as my belly grows uh, this summer. I love the way the 3X fits. These could definitely, I'd say, accommodate up to like a size 22. I love how they kind of like flow out a little bit so they give you some shape. These are perfect. And like that thick like band right here is so flattering and so cute. So you can see they have like a little flappy right here but then you have the extra shorts underneath i'm gonna see if i can order the pink pair to bring with me to florida and see if they come in time oh my gosh okay <laughs> love these are a 10 out of 10. yeah because they look like the free people movement ones and they're actually like 20 dollars cheaper okay so that's my first thing love when it's a success oh this is a very funny little side note is anyone else on swedish candy tiktok I ordered these on Amazon. It came in a pack of two. We ate the first bag already. <laughs> uh, I cannot have a lot of sugar at a time uh, unless it's like fruit. That doesn't affect my stomach. But just like if I want a little couple little of these, they're so freaking good. I don't know why Swedish candy is better. Maybe less artificial stuff. I don't know. Um, but these are delicious. They're little sour candies. They came in a pack of two. I got these on Amazon. So I'll link these too if you want to try them because it's like kind of hard to find Swedish candy. I don't know, I feel like everyone I see that gets them is going to like some shop, like a Swedish candy shop, and I'm pretty sure it's in LA. Uh, for Florida, I ordered some pregnancy safe sunscreen. Um, I really like a spray sunscreen, so I was looking into which one. So Sunbum, 30 SPF. Hopefully that lasts the whole trip. If not, I can buy more while we're down there. Okay, then I got a new pot for making rice this is the pot that was recommended to me by yar's family for making rice because i use the hex clads now and if you know about the cone cone that's the best it's when the rice gets like nice and crunchy and crispy on the bottom of the pan but the hex clads are so non-stick <laughs> like it's really hard for that rice to get crispy this is the perfect size though they had a ton of sizes these were a great price and i didn't know which one to get so we got the medium one we were like let's just uh wing it here um so yeah this is apparently the best thing to make rice in and other stuff too because I've been cooking a lot more Dominican food because I want baby to be able to, you know, eat Dominican food and know their culture and yeah. So if you're looking for a good pot, these were a great price and they were highly recommended from Yars Fam and I trust them with everything. The last box here is an Ottoman set that was such a good find. I hope it's still in stock. I'll link it because it was a set of two Ottomans for like $50, $60 and they're two different sizes. It has storage and they're just like perfect to add to any space for extra seating, extra storage, just decorative, everything. So these are gonna go in the study in a blank spot that we have. And now that we're expecting a baby, I feel like having a storage option for anything is just like key. You know, I wanna be able to easily put things away and i love the way they ship it too because there's one and then the other one is inside of the storage of the first one. Oh my gosh this is so nice okay so here is the first ottoman it is like a pretty classic size so it is boucle with a gold ring around it and the quality feels so good so far it just feels very nice so you take the lid off and then look at this cute one this one's so cute for like a kid and then i love that you can like put them side by side oh look at this cute little one oh my gosh that is so adorable um and then having them next to each other it's nice because like two different sizes it just gives a little more fun dimension and then if you want if you just want one ottoman you could put this in there and take it out for when you need extra seating if people come over so this is a great great set so i'm gonna put that in the study i can't get over how cute those are um that's what i grabbed from amazon let me go put them in there and show you where i put them okay so i actually i need yar to <laughs> to move the um little book holder 
to that side. And then we're gonna put the two of ottomans here um, just to fill the space and also have extra seating in here and actually to put our feet up here if we wanna come in here and read. Cause I had the other two ottomans in here before but we moved them to the living room. So now we have a couple of options in here. So I think, oh, I think they're so cute. So on the agenda today, I wanted to do like some old wives tales and kind of go through the list and like guess the gender with you guys and just kind of see what we think. I've seen a ton of people say they think it's a girl. Okay, I have the string. Yarman, may I have your wedding ring? Thank you, sir. I'm gonna lay down and you're just gonna like hold it still above my belly. <laughs> we'll see what it does. We'll see. We'll see. I'm prepared for this to be an unflattering angle, so reserve your judgment. Bruno got some opinion too. <laughs> what do you think? The, look at him literally guarding the baby. This is what he does. You get him a bone. <laughs> Bruno, come here, buddy. Come here. You wanna go play? Come on, let's go. Go, yeah! So you just hold it like right here above my belly. Well, hmm. what? How, how many tries we got? Just, it should just take one. It should just move. one? Yeah. All right, so should I come in slowly or fast no, or could, just, just whatever? You could just, 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 just bring it here. All right. Yeah, here. I'll, I'll put it right there. Yep, stay right there. Yeah, right there. Okay. It's going back and forth. I don't know. Or do you see a circle? I see it going side to side, left to right. Oh yeah. What do you see? Definitely left to right. Right? Well, you're, you're holding it so still too. I know. Oh, it just stopped. So it's definitely going side to side. So what does left to right mean? Boy. Ready? All right, round two. I'll set it still. Okay. I'm not moving at all. Yeah. I'm seeing left to right. Yep. Back and forth. However, is there some signs to this where like no. the gravitational pull of the earth, <laughs> the depending, depending where you are, and I don't know. Don't quote me on this. The gravitational, I'm an the I, gravitational I pull with your uterus. Is there some sort of science? Yeah. No, I don't think so. There might be. I I don't think there is. Okay. All right. So so what does left to right mean? Boy, score number one for boy. Now we got to do do the rest of the list. That's crazy. Okay, so let's dive into the rest of the list here. So, number one, cravings. So they say, girl equals sweet cravings, boy savory. So my first trimester was full of food aversion, as you, as you guys know. But what I wanted to eat when I could eat, it was fruit, 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 fruit sweet for sure and i'm normally a very salty person but like i just felt like everything tasted too salty when i would try like my favorite salty foods so i'm definitely gonna go sweet for this one so one for boy one for girl all right number two is heartburn they say girls can cause more heartburn boys no um, but I've also heard that this can be about hair and how much hair the baby has. I have not had any heartburn as of yet. I don't know if it's too early to say, but for now, we're just gonna go with it. That's two for boy, because no heartburn. Morning sickness and nausea, they say more for the girl and less for the boy, or if it's just mild nausea. So that's a hard one for me to say because I, this is hard because everything keeps changing because there was like a solid three plus weeks where I was so nauseous every afternoon, but I never threw up. And then once I hit about 10, 11 weeks, I started feeling a lot better and I haven't had nausea since. So that's really hard to say. I think since it stopped a couple weeks ago, I guess that one's gonna go for boy. Before though, I would have said girl, but right now in this moment, the nausea is gone. So that's another one for boy. The next one is the linea nigra length and that can be the line on your abdomen that appears during pregnancy. I am not far along enough for that, so we're gonna skip that. Hair and nails. For girl, if you notice your hair and nails feeling dry, brittle, and thin, girl. And then if you're having shiny, luscious, healthy hair and nails, boy. Okay, here's the issue. <laughs> I have like nails on from the salon, so I don't know what's up with my nails. As for my hair, I will say, honestly, it's felt, it's felt pretty dry. So I don't know, I guess that would have, I'd have to say girl for that one because my hair has felt 
dry and so is my skin. I don't know if it's just the season change, but for that one, we're gonna go girl. Ah, acne. <laughs> so yeah, I've heard, I've heard this one before too, like, um, cause they always say like the girl takes all your beauty. So if you have like a lot of acne, they say girl. If you're like glowing, it can mean boy. But it says here for boy, no extra pimples and dry skin. And I've had dry skin, but I'm always having acne. <laughs> Again, I also feel like with the weather change, it's been making my skin dry, but I've had a lot of pimples, but I always have a lot of pimples. So what do you pick for that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say girl, because my skin has not cleared up. It is still quite pimply. Pregnancy brain. If you're fairly alert and steady on your feet, baby girl. If you're feeling tired and a little clumsy, it's a sign you're having a boy. I would definitely go boy on that one. I've had pregnancy brain from day one, like getting stumble on my words, forgetting what I'm saying, super clumsy um, and definitely tired. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with boy on that one. Baby bump position, they say if you are carrying higher, girl, lower boy, again, I'm too early, only 12 weeks, so we don't know on that one. Also for baby bump shape, a lot of these probably should be done later on, but I'm just too excited and we're finding out very soon the gender, so. Feet changes, if your feet stay the same without any swelling, girl. If you have swelling in your feet, boy. So far, none of that, so we're saying girl. Boobs, if your breasts get fuller and remain in proportion to your body shape, girl. If they become very large and heavy, boy. They've definitely gotten larger and heavier, but I don't think enough for it to be like noticeable because it says remain in proportion to your body shape. I don't think they've changed enough. Like it's not like I have to get a new bra. So we're going to go girl on that one. Nipple changes. We're getting intimate here. If the color of the areola stays the same, baby girl, if it becomes darker, boy, going girl. Urine color. <laughs> is this TMI? If your urine is darker or a normal shade of yellow, girl. If it's brighter, boy. I've definitely had brighter urine, so boy. These are all over the place. <laughs> this is all over the place. Okay, weight gain, it's still kind of too early for that. I'll skip that one. Oh, this is so funny, sleeping sides, because I've switched my sleeping side. Ooh, okay, let's see. Girl, if you naturally fall asleep on your right side, girl, boy, if you fall asleep on your left side. So typically, I'm a left side sleeper. That's always been my thing. I don't know tend to fall asleep when I'm on my left. But now, since I've been pregnant, it's been the right. So that one is gonna be girl. Blood pressure. If you had higher blood pressure before pregnant, girl. If your blood pressure didn't change before getting pregnant, boy. My blood pressure has not changed. So for that one, it's boy. I'm gonna skip the ones where it's too soon for me to tell. Okay, so the next one I can say for the Chinese gender prediction, um, my friend and I already looked that one up and it is boy. Oh my God, wait a minute, I've never seen this before. The baking soda test. <laughs> am, I about to, am I about to do this for YouTube? All you need to do is pee in a cup and add two tablespoons of baking soda. If you're having a girl, the mixture will stay flat. If you're having a boy, the mixture will fizz. If you know me at all, you know I'm about to do this. I will not show you, but I will report as I'm watching. Stand by. A few minutes later. All right. <laughs> I'm here with my urine. Okay, two tablespoons of baking soda. Girl, it will stay flat. Boy, it will fizz. Okay. I'm waiting. Nothing's happening. No movement. Nothing. <laughs> all right. Mixture stayed flat, girl. All right, the eye test. All you need to do is look at your reflection in the mirror and focus on your pupils. If your pupils remain the same, it's a girl. If your pupils start to dilate and get bigger, it's a boy. All right, okay. Let me see if they get bigger. No, they stayed the same. Okay, so looking at these, those are the only ones I can do. Here is the final score. What do you guys think? Like I said, I've seen a lot of people say they think it's a girl. I've seen a couple of comments saying they think it's a boy. So comment and let me know what you think it is. And if you did have a baby and you did these, let me know if any of them were accurate. Okay, you guys, it is much later. We are at Target. I'm um, going on vacation in a few days, so I need to see if I need to grab anything. I don't think I need anything, but I am here for dog dental chews because Bruno is getting low. And a birthday card for my mom because her birthday is right after we get back from Florida. I already have her gifts, but I need to grab um, a gift bag 
and a card. Bruni, you want to try your new interactive dog chew? Can you sit? Good boy. What do we think? Let's see if he likes it. All right, I won't watch you. Okay, I'm back home from Target. I just blew my nose, so I'm sure all the foundation is coming off around my nose. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> A little bit red under there. So you guys saw everything that I picked up at Target. I got those really cute little gold hoops that have like two in one, which I love that look. And the hair clip, got my mom's birthday card, a bag, tissue paper, the dog's dental shoes, um, and then that like interactive dog bone I just gave him. I literally gave it to him. I'm coming over here and like importing my footage. I look over, he ate the whole thing. I thought it was gonna be the kind that like lasts a long time. I cannot find one that lasts a long time except for the yak cheese, the like yak cheese, <laughs> those hard bones on Amazon. Those last a long time, but he gets bored with them. So, all right. But he really likes the kindful stuff from Target. Like nothing from there he has rejected, I don't think. So I just realized that I, I kind of forgot because I always get like so excited when they're doing sales, but Amazon's doing their big spring sale through the 25th. So when this goes up, you'll have today and tomorrow um, if you wanna grab anything. I went through and was able to find a bunch of the stuff that I already own and that's on sale. So I thought I would just quickly go through and show you guys, like I said, what I already own. I've bought it when it's not on sale and they're all really, really good on sale right now. So these are like my tried and true favorites. As I said, things I already own. Okay, first up is this Skims inspired t-shirt. When I tell you this feels amazing. It is so soft, it is so stretchy, it feels like a second skin. They have a ton of colors and it goes up to a 3X. I've bought the 3X before and the XXL. I like the XXL a little more. It's a little bit roomy on the 3X, but it's so freaking stretchy, <laughs> like a second skin, so comfortable. It's on sale for $12. It's the perfect just staple t-shirt and i'll link all these down below in order then we've got these foam slides i live in these in the summer i have bought them a couple times now but i'll usually get like one per season so i'll probably actually order some now they're on sale um, for 20 bucks these are like foam heaven so comfortable i've taken walks in them they're just like I don't know, the perfect comfy casual sandal for spring and summer. And I'm telling you, it feels like you're walking on marshmallows. Okay, up next is this like viral hair straightener that's on TikTok like every day. I bought it and reviewed it for you guys. And if you wanna like very quickly straighten your hair, I don't straighten my hair all that much, but it's a great tool if you wanna do that. I need to master like the flip with it, but I have seen people with like a lot of hair texture, um, a lot of curls, etc. just so many different hair types, do like a straight in one pass, no cuts, it looks so good. This is normally 80, it's on sale for 55. Um, really great for straightening your hair if you have like a lot of hair, thick hair, curly hair, etc. Okay, up next we have these pants hangers here. Um, these are on sale for $18.99 and you get a two pack with 10 metal clips. This is such a space saver in your closet. Like I had my pants lined up on individual hangers. This is just 
oh, so much better. Like you hang them all up and then one side folds down and they're organized like this. It saves so much space. This is your time to stock up on these for all the rugs in your house. You can get a 24 pack on sale for 30 bucks. I have these on all my rugs, all my rugs in the house. I have used them in the old house, in this house. They do not damage the floor, but your rugs will not move. They're insanely amazing. I don't know what it is. I've bought them multiple times and they just work like magic. Any size rug, I hate when rugs slip around. These are amazing and it's a great price. Oh, and this sweatshirt um, is on sale for $25, which is awesome. Yes, wearing the XXL, bunch of different colors. So that's exciting. The Bissell Little Green. I had a vlog where I cleaned the couch with this. This is an amazing machine. It's on sale for 98, originally 124, so it's 21% off. It is so great at cleaning upholstery, couches, chairs, <laughs> anything. I got a great clean off of my couch. You know those videos you see where people are like pushing the machine down and it's sucking up like dirty water? It's that, <laughs> but it's like so compact, easy to carry around, it's just, small but mighty it has great reviews people love it for a reason so now's the time to grab it if you've been wanting a dyson vacuum now's the time to grab it never pay full price for the dyson vacuum because i swear they're always going on sale um, and they're having like huge sales right now for them 40 percent off um they have a bunch of different kinds i think we have the v i think we have the v8 it's an older model but it still works amazingly so um dyson vacuums Okay, next up, these are the most recent pairs of leggings that I shared here. They are on a great sale. You get a three pack for 30 bucks. So $10 a pop is really good. I love that they have pockets. They are buttery soft. I got them in the XXL and they're a great pair of leggings. Okay, I have two different pairs of pants here that remind me a lot of the Skims Soft Lounge um, that are just very, very comfy. I wear these a lot. So first up, these with the drawstring. So I have two options, one with a drawstring and one without. Um, these drawstring ones are on sale for 22 bucks. They are so soft. They're some of my favorite pairs of lounge pants. And then the brown pair here, they have like a little bit more of like a smooth band at the top, but just as soft and comfy. Also on sale for $23. Um, no string, it depends. Some people like the tie, some people don't, um, but both of those are really great. And I got both of those in an XXL. Then we've got an amazing bodysuit here. I love that it's ribbed. It has great support. Um, I wear the XXL in this as well. Bunch of colors on sale for 20 bucks, like the perfect, perfect staple for the spring because it has padding so you can like layer it it's super simple just a perfect layering piece okay then i love this active dress i have so many like this from abercrombie and the quality is literally the same i love that it has bike shorts underneath with pockets you can easily like put your phone credit cards whatever in there um, i wear the xxl in this as well on sale for 29.99 30% off. I like lived in these athletic style dresses the last couple of summers. They're so easy to throw on, perfect for running errands. A recent home find that I got is the Swiffer Power Mop. Um, it's for wood. This one is the whole kit. It comes with two mopping pad refills and the liquid. It's on sale for $29 um, and it's really, really good, really quick for in between like deep mops. I've had a very hard time finding a good, quick, efficient way to clean um, the wood floors. I really like the steam mop, but then so many of you guys said that it was bad for the floor. I don't know. <laughs> I really like this. Um, so that's great for spring cleaning too. I just wanted to share this runner because this is the exact runner we have in our upstairs hallway. It's held up really well. I think we've had it. Oh, it says purchased March 17th. So we've had it for a year, uh, last year. And I got the two by 12 for the long hallway. They have a bunch of different sizes, but it's a really good affordable rug. It's only 60 bucks and the quality is great. Like I said, it's held up well um, and it has like non-slip on the bottom, but still gotta put the rug grippers. I also might grab some of these. These are the hangers that I've repurchased multiple times. They're on sale. You can get 60 for $23. They have a ton of different colors, quantities, and they're just like the perfect velvet hangers. I cannot use anything but a velvet hanger because I hate when my clothes slide off. So I always do um, velvet hangers. These are great quality. So yeah, those are the items that I already owned that are part of the sale. Um, I'm sure there's more too, but I thought I would just share like some of my favorites, but I'll link all those in order. I also washed that pan that I showed you guys earlier because I am gonna make Dominican food tonight. So we'll see how the cone cone comes out. All right, so I've got my beans going on here. 
Um, and then it said on the directions for this, which I'm gonna do the rice in. I also don't have that much, <laughs> that much rice right now, but we'll make what we have. Um, it did say to wash and dry it, which I did, and then rub it with a little bit of oil and put it on medium heat on top of the stove for a minute just to kind of season it. I've had to do that with other pans. I think I did that with all my hex clads too. Let me know if you guys have watched the new Nickelodeon um, like documentary. I saw the preview for it. It's called Quiet On Set and it's basically just like, from what I've seen, exposing like all this dark stuff that happened during these Nickelodeon shows, which I think we've like started to learn about over the last few years, but um, they're all out now. I think, I think my cousin said they're on HBO. <sighs> it's just so sad. It's just so sad. So I'm definitely gonna be watching those soon, but yeah, let me know if you guys watched it. I'm trying to learn how to make a smaller portion of these. <laughs> I did like half of my normal recipe um, because I always end up making way too much. I swear I cook for a family of six, maybe four or five on a good day. <laughs> There's two of us. So we always have leftovers for days. I'm gonna keep it very real with you. The rice did not come out good. <laughs> this cooks super differently than the pots that I'm used to. So <laughs> Yar just ran to the store to get more rice because <laughs> I finished it. My beans came out delish. The rice is a hot mess. First, I don't know why I did my normal ratio that I always do, but it came out overcooked and like really mushy. Then I'm like, I'm gonna try to save it and get it crispy. I can't scrape it off the pan. <laughs> so I will be recruiting help next time, <laughs> but we tried.